the conspiracy theorists trying to overturn Colorado's elections are pretty clear about how they're going to do it by convincing conservative election clerks on the inside to help them. Mesa County Clerk Tina Peters is removed from election duties under investigation for the breach of security in her voting systems that she openly celebrated. The state Republican Party won't answer questions about the clerk's future, but former Republican Secretary of State Wayne Williams told us today Clerk Peters needs to go. Politics guy Marshall Zellinger looks at what happens next in this case that could set the stage for how our elections could be undermined from within. The clearest part of this story is that elected Republican Mesa County Clerk Tina Peters will not run the county's November election. What's less clear is who will. I feel like the Mesa County voters can feel confident that they're going to um, get a resolution to this problem. Current Republican Mesa County Treasurer Sheila Reiner was appointed to run Mesa County's November election by Democratic Secretary of State Jenna Griswold. The three Republican Mesa County commissioners did not like that. There is an immediate need, in my opinion, an immediate need to counter what the Secretary of State is doing. Our position is she is out of her lane. The commissioners believe they have the power to pick the replacement and chose former Secretary of State Wayne Williams. I want to ensure that the people of Mesa County have an election that functions well and that they can have confidence in. So who will run Mesa County's next election, Williams or Reiner? For now, both? Wayne and I started talking last night and we already have an agreement that we're working as a team. We've sent uh, correspondence out to staff. Uh, we've let them know that on major decisions we're going to be conferring. Search warrants we obtained today reveal some of the investigation into Peter's office, looking into how passwords and images from voting computers were leaked from secure equipment. Investigators are looking for video surveillance of restricted access areas, logs, texts, voicemails, and emails by or with Peters and her staff. And they want access to her two cell phones to look at everything from notes and reminders to texts and GPS information. Should Clerk Tina Peters resign? Uh, yes. Unless, right, everything I've read is wrong. But if you violate the public trust and you impact the integrity of the election systems, uh, then that is a situation uh, that makes it so you cannot effectively perform that job. Reiner would not answer if she feels Peter should resign. She said that what you just heard from Williams right there is right. But Reiner was also supportive of a recall attempt of Peter's that failed. And so now we've set the stage for, hey, we're going to try to clean up an election by having someone else do it, and now we don't know who's going to do it still. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, you have to think a certain portion of the population is not tuned in to the QAnon buffoonery, is not tuned in to some of the hyperpartisanship, and just wants like a clean election, like win, lose, or draw, want a clean election. And both Williams and Reiner say, no matter who it is, and right now they say it's both of them, mm -hmm. you're going to get that fair, transparent election. All right. Thank you, Marshall.